Hey guys, this is Brandy. Um, I wanted to show you guys how to make your images a little bit more warm inside of Lightroom and then inside of Photoshop. So we're actually going to use Lightroom first and then we'll go over to Photoshop to do the same thing. So I'm already in Lightroom. I've already opened my image. So all you need to do is open your image and click the develop tab up here. And then this area should pop up. So we're going to be working in the white balance section. So this little area right here is the white balance section. It's just, it should have a WB. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here where it says as shot. And then I'm going to click cloudy. And that warmed it up a tad, but it's a little bit more magenta uh, than I like. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to shade. And that warmed it up a ton. Um, so you do have these two presets available to quickly warm your image. And um, if you don't like the results, you can always play with these tabs right here. So I'm going to reset my image. And so I'm just going to warm it up myself by upping the temperature to the yellow side. So that'll be the right side. And so the temperature controls the blues and the yellows, and then the tint controls the greens and the magenta. So when I look at this image, specifically her skin, I can see that it's way too green. I don't like it whatsoever. So I'm going to take my tint up to the magenta. So I want to let you guys know that when you're editing portraits, you always want to have more magentas and yellows in the skin than you do uh, blues and greens because you know magentas and yellows are a little bit more natural than blue and green skin so yeah I'm just gonna play with this that looks pretty good so before after before, after. And who, if you are like new to photography and to Photoshop or Lightroom, I want you guys to know that it's called a white balance when you're trying to deal with the tints and uh, the temperature of your image. It's called your white balance. So that's what the WB right here stands for, white balance. I just wanted to put that out there if you didn't know already. So yeah, so I fixed my white balance and I love it. So now I'm actually going to revert this image and show you how to achieve this in Photoshop. Okay, so now I'm in Photoshop. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my background layer by clicking Control J on my keyboard. And now I'm going to go over here and make an adjustments layer and select color balance. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, when you're dealing with... Um, your white balance and skin tones and such. You want to have yellows and magentas in it and oftentimes red as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to play with these sliders. So everything is in the middle. So I'm going to take my yellow down and as I'm doing that I'm like okay she's turning green but don't worry. You're going to go up to here so you have your green and your magenta since there's too much green in the photo, I'm not going to take the greens up. I'm going to take it down. Much better. So let's see a before and after. And that warms it up quite a bit. Um, I personally prefer to warm my photos up in Lightroom. I don't know why, I just, I like it better. I feel like it's a little bit easier. But um, either one works great though. So uh, what I normally do with my photos, if I wanted to add like additional warmth to my uh, photos, I add a warm filter and that's right up here in the adjustments tab and that warms her quite a bit. And you can change the density so you can take it up to make it even more warm. That looks like a little vintage thing going on. <laughs> But yeah, you can take it up, you can take it down, uh, just add as much as, or as little as you, as you need. And you can always lower the opacity over here. I'm going to keep mine up. So let me hurry up and take a snapshot of this for you guys. So before, after, before. 
So after. yeah, it's really not that hard. Just get in and give it a give it a go and practice at it, and you'll have it down in no time. Just don't forget to you know pay attention to the skin tones and try to keep keep them as natural as possible. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions and like and subscribe for my future videos. Thanks guys. Bye.